Hey guys, today I have a new update for my beauty project pan. I feel like I haven't filmed this in so long. Um, so let's get into it. <laughs> if you haven't watched these videos from me before, what I'm doing is I am trying to completely finish 10 beauty products in my collection. It's rolling style, so once I do finish something, I roll in a replacement. Um, but it could be anything beauty related, nothing makeup in here. It's all skincare, hair care, um, or body care. And yeah, let's get into it. We have a few empties to talk about. Now, my first empty is like just little, but I've been trolling through these every update. So I finished perfume sample. I actually finished two. Even though I only rolled in this one, I ended up reaching for another one and finishing this one as well because I took it home. I took these home with me over vacation. That way I didn't have to bring like a full size perfume. But then I ended up having a whole bunch of perfumes still at home that I forgot about. So, but I did finish these two. Okay, so the one we actually rolled into this project was Juicy Couture Couture Lala, and this is gone. I liked it. I feel like all Juicy Couture scents kind of smell the same or very similar but that one is done and then the other one that I ended up using up is Vera Wang Embrace and there's like a tiny bit at the bottom that will not come out and it's very frustrating like it just it won't come out so that one's done two little samples done and my little cup of samples is getting smaller and smaller my next empty is a full sizer um this is the transport pads, there's 50 treatments. I don't know the brand. I've talked about this before. It's like glowing in the sun. Can you guys see that? That is really weird, okay. Um, but these are gone, they are exfoliating pads. And yeah, I used these up. There was only like 10 left, I think, from last update. Um, but I wouldn't buy these again. I don't like them. I feel like they just dry my skin out more than they like exfoliate my skin. Ugh, nuggets playing with the door over there. That's what that is. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend these. I bought these pretty cheap off BoxyCharm though. So it wasn't like I broke an arm and leg buying those. Um, all right, that's everything that I used up. I just used up those two products. And we made some decent progress on some other things. My very, let's go through everything that is still in the project. First, we have my Billion Dollar Brows Brow Boost. You guys, I took this stopper out of this last night. So it's like so close. I didn't know if I was going to take out the stopper or not, but it was really hard to, I got one eyebrow good last night. It's just a serum. And then the other one, I could barely get anything on it. So I took the stopper out. I'm still getting some product, but it is very close to being done. This will definitely be done next update. Nug, chill. Next, I still have my sheet mask in here. I need to put these in a better spot in my bathroom because I just forget about them. So I still have that. I don't like masks. I did like a real face mask last night, like from a tube. I like those ones a lot better. Sheet masks, I don't know. I just don't like them. So I'm trying to get through all the ones that I have. Next is my milk toner stick. Um, I have used this a few times. I started using it like on my neck because I don't like this on my face. So I figured maybe that's a way that I can use this up. But it's just, it's so sticky. It's like falling apart in this packaging too so who knows how long this will take I'm just gonna keep it out and try to reach for it but yeah I don't really like that if you guys have any other suggestions let me know because I just want to use it up I don't want to throw it away like that's a waste but I just don't like how it's sticky it feels next we have a product I rolled this in last time I like for the life of me could not remember what my 10th product was. So I had to rewatch my last video. I was like, oh, okay, I did put this in. I've been using it I, just cause it's my only, it's a leave-in conditioner spray. Um, and I've been using it. I didn't realize I put it in this project though. But anyway, this is the Unite 7 Seconds Leave-In Conditioner Detangler Spray. I love this. 
This is my new favorite. I think this is, once I use up everything I have, this will be just the one I repurchase. Um, it's so good. It feels like it's like less than halfway gone. Maybe about half. I can't see through it, but that's kind of what it feels like. So I'm just going to keep using it until it's gone. Um, this shouldn't be a problem. I use it every time I wash my hair. So we'll see how much I wash my hair, I guess. <laughs> Next, I didn't use this at all. This is my Pharmacy Very Cherry Clean Melting Cleansing Balm. It's still looking the same. I didn't use it. I was gone for a very long time, though. This is only, like, my second week back. And, yeah, I just use makeup erasers. They're just so easy, and I like them. But uh, I'll try to use this a few times because it is really good. I do like it. It's just an extra step that I don't, I always forget about. So I'll try to use this, this update. It should be really easy to finish that. Next is my eye cream. This is the Dr. Brandt triple peptide eye cream. And I did get through an air bubble. I've been using this a ton. Looking at it right now, it looks like it's like right here. So still above all my markings of where I thought I was. Um, there's probably still air bubbles in here. I did get through another one last night. Um, but I really like this still. Um, I'm just gonna keep going with it until it's gone. I think I've been using it for like two years though. It feels like it's been two years. I could look back and look, but it feels like it's been that long. Um, so I just want to get it used up so I can use something else. I have a whole bunch of eye serums or like eye creams. Next, I have my Juice Beauty Hydrating Mist Spray, and I don't like this. It's okay, like, I'll use it up, but I won't repurchase this. Um, it just leaves my skin feeling kind of sticky, and I don't love it. So, I did make some progress. There are my markings. This one was, like, a two-month period, so that's about what month, one month looks like. Um, and I'm just going to keep going till it's gone. I'd really like to have this gone though by spring because I have a project all ready to go. My next 50 shades project. I have all those products picked out and ready and I did put in a facial spray. Um, so I need to push through this. I need to start using it more like just on my entire body, I think. And then my last product I rolled in last time as well. This is my Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. I love this. This is so good. Oh my gosh. And I wasn't planning on using this a ton because I wanted to focus on some other products and other projects, but oh my gosh, you guys, I just really like it. My skin loves it. It's just so soothing. Um, we are down to about right underneath the like ridge where the ridge starts. So it's still pretty full. But I'd say I used up like a centimeter. <laughs> it was flush to the top. Pretty much flush to the top. Um, but yeah, we are officially down to where the purple starts. <laughs> so this is going to take me a long time because I've been using this most nights. Like, I love it. It's like, that's like almost two months worth, I think. Because I took this one home with me. So I did use this one all of December. Um, yeah, it's going to take a long time, but I am seeing some movement, so that's good. Um, but I really like this, so I don't mind. I do, again, in that Fifty Shades project that's going to, like, for next year, I think it's in April when my gr green finishes and the next one starts. Um, I do have my moisturizer picked out for that project, so I want to get that one going, but I just love it. So I've just been using it, you know? It's not like I'm trying to use it too much to push through it. I really like it. Okay, enough rambling, Taylor. Let's roll in some new items. I have two products to roll in. Just another perfume sample. I just randomly grabbed this one out of my cup right before I sat down. This is Burberry Hero. So there's that guy. I don't want to smell this right now because it will make my allergies go off the wall. I can feel it. Like... It will happen. So I'm not going to spray that right now or else I will be sneezing the rest of the day. 
Um, yeah, okay, my next product is this. Um, I don't know the brand of this one either. It's another BoxyCharm item. Go to skincare. It might that might be the brand. It's an Australian brand. That's kind of cool. Okay, these are the go to exfoliating swipeies. <laughs> I may or may not have bought these because they're called exfoliating swipeies. Like that's such a cute little name. Um, but also these were off BoxyCharm, and I love having like an exfoliating pad type of situation. Um. I bought these when I was working on these ones because um, I don't have any other ones. I, I don't think. I'm trying to think through my collection. I don't think I have any other exfoliating pads. My favorite are the First Aid Beauty, but I'm always waiting to try to find them on sale because First Aid Beauty goes on sale pretty frequently and they're on BoxyCharm and they've had the exfoliating pads on BoxyCharm. They've just sold out before I could get my hands on them. So I'm waiting to see if I can get them through BoxyCharm because they'll be like $10 instead of like, what, 50 something? Um, but anyway, I bought these ones and I've been using these. There's 50 pads in here. I'd say I probably have used 10 to 15 already. Um, this is what they look like. They're definitely like a thicker pad now these ones are a little bit different you're supposed to swipe the product all on your face and then wash it off after a minute so i thought that that would be kind of daunting and i wouldn't use them but i've been still using them i've just been using like the other side of my makeup eraser after like i take my makeup off i put these on wait about a minute and then like wipe my face down again um and I am not really noticing a lot of results. I don't know. I feel like it's so hard with skincare to tell. <laughs> I have so much acne that like, I feel like that pulls my focus. Um, but I did get a rash like on my cheek over here. And I've been trying to figure out what product it is because I have three products currently that are like new to my rotation. This being one of them. But I don't think it's this because I was using this quite a bit before I got that rash. I think it was the serum I started using. Um, so I've stopped using that and this went away and it was only there for a day. I've been putting that serum like on my arm to like see if I get a rash on my arm and I haven't. So I don't know, maybe it is this, I don't know. I know I'm allergic to orange oil because my mom is really into, sorry, side tangent. My mom's really into essential oils and orange oil I actually really like it I get nauseous a lot um and so like that one if you smell it it like helps with nausea um but I used to like for car rides and stuff like put it on my like neck or on my nose um so that I was always smelling it around my wrists um and I would get such bad rashes and then once I finally figured out it was that, I was like, okay, I can't put this on my skin. I still smell from the bottle because it works really good. <laughs> anyway, side tangent, I'm definitely allergic to orange oil. <laughs> so I was using, I did start using the uh, Summer Fridays CC Serum. I think that's what it's called. But I've looked through all of the ingredients and there isn't like orange oil or any kind of like citrus oil in it but it's a vitamin C product. So you would think there would be like orange something in there. I don't know. If you guys know more, let me know. But this is the other new product. And then I have like a milk toner, but I don't think it's that either. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe I just used these too much. I don't know. Okay, tangent, I need to wrap this up. I'm gonna try to use these like twice a week, okay? Okay, that is everything for today's update. Um, two items out, two items in. Very quickly, what can we have done for next time? Perfume sample, definitely. Brow serum, I'm definitely. This honestly, I think will last me like another week. And can we do it? Can we do it? I really think we can do it. Maybe. Who knows? I say that every time. And then, honestly, if I just use this, this will be gone. Like, we could easily have so many empties, but I just got to use it, you know? 
So, okay, that is everything for today's update. I hope you guys liked this video and definitely be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for more. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye guys.